Hi guys, what's up? It's Joel Pitt here, back with another video, and in this video, it'll be for Love Island 2023, Series 10, Episode 20. This is another Unseen Bits, this is the third of this series. I'll leave a link down below to Episode 19, of course, it's going to be spoilers. So without further ado, let's get on with it. So, Leah and Molly were doing cat noises. Uh, the boys were playing like football with like a little ball. Jess and Mitchell were doing an egg and spoon race. Molly was trying to speak like a grandma. Andre was doing some dancing, Scott was picking his nose, and then Catherine was saying the seven wonders of the world, but then Meddy said, oh no, there's actually eight. We were like, no there's not, me, he said. Uh, the girls were doing a dance, um, Jess said during Covid, like, she has to go on holiday or something. Work sort of confirmed it, but then when she got back, she got Covid from her ho holiday, and she got the sack from her job. Um, there was a video of like a cat going around the villa and then the cat came to like Molly and Zach and then Sammy and Molly. Meddy was giving wine tips on how to drink wine and then they were, the boys were just like, oh no, this chat's too sophisticated for me. Uh, but basically he was saying with red wine, it's best to heat it up and you, and you have to slurp it to get the flavour, he said. Jess wanted a hug off Mitchell when she was like sat down and then wanted a spot popping. But then Tyreek did it. Mitchell burped. Tyreek did this a massive fart twice. Um, Bert was this bird, basically, and like Ian was imitating this this bird as a voice, like security. Uh, Sammy was trying to do David Attenborough. Um, Meddy didn't understand what food for thought meant because Whitney mentioned it. Um, then there was like an unseen bit of some of the situation shit, basically the game where they were in the boat and they had to match the answers. So what's your partner's worst habit? Which other islander would you your partner choose to have in a threesome? And then like a bird pooed on Meddy. And then Mitchell, Leah and Tyreek um, were trying to say like single words to create like a conversation. Just if if you if you watched it you'll understand what I mean. Um, Jess's middle name was Sydney. Basically, because she was born in the year 2000, and she said her mum is, like, keen on the Olympics. So, one of her other, like, siblings' middle name is Atlanta. So, they would have been born in 1996. And then another one was Denver. But Colorado haven't hosted the Olympics. Not that I know of. Um, so, I guess, just like in America, I guess, and Australia. I'm not sure. Uh, the boys were doing leg exercises. Zach was getting scared by flies and other stuff. Uh, Zach calls a banana yellow fruit. He doesn't call it a banana, which is weird. Whitney and Catherine were making a cheese toasty, but, like, it was a cheese toasty. There was lots of cheese. I was like, bloody hell. But um, Maddie, Maddie enjoyed it, you know. And then Scott um, found out. They said, Scott, Catherine's made you a cheese toasty. I was like, nah, I'm good. And we were just like, what? Yeah. Uh, Mitchell farted during the Montel and Mal date. And I think they might have overheard it. Leah, everyone's just saying she's got good eye contact and all. In the Beach Hut Bonanza, best animal impressions. And then Tyreek farted again at the end. And then there was a little thing, basically six times the bombshells did the most. We love a bombshell and this is one, and this one is royalty. Series 2. Love Island legend Katie McDermott is returning to the villa, as I said. In, if her previous appearance is anything to go by, we're in for an elite treat. Did someone say biggest twist in Love Island history? Fiery Katie is sure to shake things up amongst our cute and cosy couples. But this isn't the first time the Islanders have been rocked by a few bombshells explosions this series. Let's see what chaos our bombshells have caused so far. So, Zachariah stealing Catherine from Andre was one of them. Basically, yeah, he, he came in and he just said, well, here's what he said. Zachariah brought his chill, se chill, sexy energy to the villa as the first bombshell back in episode two. He barely had a chance to unpack his basketball sneakers when he, he was told he'll be leading a recoupling with first pick of the girls. After just 24 hours in the villa and a couple of chats from Grafton 101 manual, he chose to couple up with Catherine. 
The dra dramatic move took her from Andre's clutches after the pair were coupled up by the public. Ouch. And then his shot kiss with Molly in the challenge. But Zachariah had, a f had more moves up his sleeves. And just a few days later, he made feelings very clear for Molly. Or oh, feelings for Molly clear. That lingering kiss, lingering kiss in the absolute bankers challenge left Catherine and the rest of the islanders shook. The bold move appeared to be worth it, as he and Molly st steadily grew closer, and they're currently ha happily coupled up. Well, no, not anymore, really. Whitney's iconic opening line. Whitney has been delivering the energy and the wisdom to the villa since she appeared in episode 6. We were... We knew we were in for a treat when she s said in her opening speech, if, you, if your man can be stolen, then was he really your man? It's giving. Basically, she, say it, she says it all the time, it's giving. Um, still reeling from losing Catherine to Zachariah, Whitney made Andre's day when he got the text telling him he was going on a date with a mystery bombshell. And his day got even better when he was greeted when he greeted stunning Whitney at the beach. Sammy appearing to Jess's prayers. Jess was feeling a little left out of the action without a romantic connection in the villa. So she called upon the higher powers to help her out and it worked. Gathering her girls in a summoning circle, they, they held hands giggling as she said, we wish a pretty boy, sexy, bombshell to walk in for the best funniest girl here. The very next day, she got a text saying she was new arrival Sammy f Sammy's third hideaway date and the hike from her fellow islanders was all kinds of cute. The pair hit it off and later coupled up until the compatibility vote forced them apart after a few head-turning tensions. Is it over for Sammy and Jess or will this couple find their way back together? Double trouble when Leah and Catherine arrived in time for dinner. What's better than a bombshell? Two bombshells. Coming to, coming to date your men while you're forced to watch from the terrace. Charlotte and Leah made an impression on everyone as they entered the villa to a busy kitchen. Busy kitchen and even and an even busier terrace full of banned islanders. Wow, said Catherine as they walked in. And Whitney hit the mic drop. It's giving bad. Yeah. She was silenced by Ella who I was like, Whitney, shut up, who was visibly pranging about Tyreek having dates with both girls in the garden below. It was Leah that Tyreek quickly hit it off with as the Manchester babe got to know Ella's man over their main course. They're just smiling and giggling too much. It's just torture to watch, Ella said as Sammy confronted her. Sammy confronted her. The tensions for Ella and Tyreek continued for a few more days as Tyreek got to know Leah on a, on, on, on a level. But he eventually realised he had a strong connection with his day one and Tyreek and Glasgow model Ad Ella got themselves back on track. And then here comes Katie. Katie's back for more and we're gassed. She appears to be wasting no time getting to know the boys. And then there's a small matter of that mega twist. As she, and it said huge, huge decision to make, but she's already made that decision. But anyway, that is all for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one.